Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome, or welcome back. And um, I'm going to work in my healing journal today because, why not? I'm working on two at the same time, so the videos may be altering, but that's okay. Uh, gives variety. So I had that little logo from the Kleenex box still here, so I decided that was a good place to put the title of the journal, so that's healing. And I did this signature a little bit different. I got tired of everything moving around, so I did put in two staples. And so I thought, if I really want a signature, I can still sew that in. I mean, I can still sew in the signature. It's just the middle wouldn't be sloshing around on me. So I'm going to try that today, see if that works for me better. If that works better for me. <laughs> All right. One, two, three lengths. And I even still have my template, so don't know if I really need that, but I guess just to see if it's going to hit any of the staples. I'm not fussy about how close to the top and whatnot they are, so anyways, I'll just go there. See what comes of that. This need to oh, I needed my pokey tool. What am I doing? No wonder it wasn't going through. Okay, so that's one. and three all right so, well, so far I'm liking it because the papers aren't moving okay so I'm going to start with the middle again oh yeah I'm really liking this I'll do in this one opposite way. I'll start at the middle, come through the bottom. And go all the way to the top. Look at that. I like butter. go have to get the thread free all right so I'm going to go I mean who says you can't use the stapler and sew in a sew signature just because I haven't seen anybody do it before doesn't mean it's not allowed we'll see how quick was that nice and two if I did it right, the, the uh, staples will be hidden. So there's that. I may have just found my preferred method of attaching a signature. Because I do like the look of the sewed. Natasha a treasure books make some kind of a fancy S thing. I don't know if I did it or not. Did I do that? If I look at it this way, it's still backwards S. Okay. 
Maybe that's what she did. I don't know. I just remember thinking that was cool, but I didn't really try to figure it out too much. All right, so one more knot for good measure. And then I think I do like the bow because it just kind of brings it all together. And I will just, oh, that's right. Um, I need the bow long enough to, or long enough to make another knot, but not so long that I want to have all that excess. So, there we go. Oh, yes, I like that much better. Okay, so this is the healing journal. And I think, again, this would be another great one for making to give as a gift to someone. Because we're going to fill this up with healing scriptures pockets, healing scriptures, um, we're going to decorate it, because I think if it's, um, oh good, it's in there, not perfectly centered, but that's okay, it's in there, that's what matters, um, I think, like I was saying, um, this could be great encouragement for someone and, you know, why not make it pretty? So, okay, so that's basically the cover. I think it's pretty enough that it doesn't need a cluster like the other one. I mean, I could. could do a lot of things, but I think that's busy enough. I guess that's what I'm... I'm happy with it. I don't feel like I need to go any further. All right, so I didn't put any pockets, like I didn't sew any pockets in here. And I know somebody's gonna love this part. This is um, bird napkin and I made faux rice paper out of that. And then I put it on this colorful page because I knew the colors would probably be a little too much if they were left just the way they are. So I could make a pocket out of this, but at the same time, I kind of like the noise it makes when it's just free like that. So, okay, so I hadn't really thought of where to start in here. But since there's hardly any pockets and I didn't sew any in, it might be appropriate to make a pocket for the inside cover. And the way to do that, want to make something sturdy. I was just thinking too, I have these um, leftover bits. I have quite a few of them from this box that we can put in. That would make a nice belly band somewhere, but I don't know if I want it here. And two, it's got a pretty good crank, um, crick in it bend, fold, whatever. So I'm not sure what to do with that yet. I'm just going to put it aside for now. But for the inside cover, I would like something a little sturdy, I think. And so, let's see. I still have so much of this pretty paper and I was thinking I was thinking 
yes, I was thinking. What was I thinking? Oh. Hmm. What was I thinking? That's not bad. Okay, we're gonna go with this. This is one of those faux rice paper, not rice paper, faux leather. Yeah, faux leather. Just gonna rough it up a little. direction tears better than the other so I guess we'll just not mess with it that way don't let me put my needle away before I get zinged okay something like so and then it needs inking. I kind of like the slant it has. People might not, but I do. Oh, and I think I want to put kind of a notch in there. Okay, how about this? I know. Since we're kind of working with the tear already. Something like that. That's rough. It's rough and ready. Looks a little burnt. That's okay. Crispy. Crispy around the edges. So, are you doing all right today? Are you, are you, are you, <laughs> are you doing all right? Are you struggling? Are you happy? Are you content? Are you, um, are you satisfied? I decided I need more word and I don't really know how to get it at this point. I don't live in a place where we have a great community. And every time we've gone and tried to be part of a church, it hasn't worked out. The Lord always seems to call us out. And I confess, I'm, you know, kind of on the verge of getting tired. But, who is my encouragement? The Lord is. And David encouraged himself in the Lord. So that's what I'm going to do. He heals the brokenhearted. 
He sets the captives free. He makes the lame to walk again and makes the blind to see. He's able, he's able. I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. That stuff lasts so long. I mean, I guess I made a whole bunch too, but I really enjoy using it, so. It's a good thing I made lots. All right, so just carrying on with the bit of a rustic page here. I'm going to ink this as well. something like that. What I like about this stuff is it's already got pretty things inside. So I'm not going to make this an extra pocket. I'm just going to attach the whole thing because I don't want it to be ripping. because the edges are a little bit on the rough side, I think. And two, we have that um, cover that's got the spot in it that's not overly strong, so I don't really wanna give it a weak pocket yet, so. I guess I kinda did that with how I formed it, but I think it should be good this way. I like my fancy glue bottle dangle. <laughs> it's nothing, but I kept losing the pin, so I wanted to find a way to put that on there. There, see, so it's a little bit weakened here because it had the hole. Mind you, it has two layers, which is nice. All right, so now we have a pocket on the inside. And if I look at some of the healing scriptures I have, I was just thinking if I had a nice one, that would work. But it's too big. And that's a Thanksgiving one. Anyways, here, this is the one I was trying to quote earlier. Psalm 147, verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So I asked my husband, I said, why would I use this in a healing journal? Because... It says he heals the brokenhearted, but then when it comes to their wounds, he binds them up. So it doesn't, off the top, sound like a healing scripture to me. And this is why I ask him things, because he comes up with things that my brain sometimes doesn't. He says, when he binds up our wounds, what happens? I said they heal and so there's that when he's the one that binds up our wounds they heal because he has supernatural 
he is supernatural. And so, um, not really wanting to use the word chance, but you know what I mean when I say there's a better, it's more likely that you're going to get healed when he binds up your wounds. Okay, so that one. And I have mostly Okay. I like this one. It's also from Psalm 107 verses 19 and 20. They cried out to the Lord in their trouble. He saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. I really like that one. If I had it on a nice piece of paper, I would probably put that somewhere like a, I don't know, a subtitle. But I'll put it in the front here for now. I think it does need to be showing a little bit because you can cry out to him. Okay, so that is what I have for you today. And um, that's where I'm going to leave it. So I will say thank you for joining me. And I pray that you are well and blessed. And we'll see you again. Bye for now.